welcome back. I am here today with just a couple palettes that I've been grabbing for a lot lately. They're um, newer to my collection and one of them is high end and actually it's what I've been grabbing for the most but the other one I have been grabbing for quite frequently as well and I wanted to include it so that you could also have a drugstore option of a really pretty kind of neutral palette. So these are just a couple that I've been grabbing for. Um, like I've already said, <laughs> it's kind of a gloomy day outside so bear with me. The um, rain is back and uh, I've got every light I possibly can on but it's probably not the best lighting yet. So anyways, let's go ahead and get started. So let's go ahead and do the um, drugstore one first. This is an e.l.f. palette. I want to say it was 10 or less. This is a prism eyeshadow palette and the color I have is naked. I'm going to try to cover up so you can see the colors. And most of them, I don't believe, yeah, these are all shimmers. Um, whenever I do use this, I also include my um, Naked Basics palette for a transition shade and brow. But these are great. Um, I've been using a lot of these colors on the lid. Although you can use this one here for the brow one if you do want a shimmery one. So I'm going to go ahead, I mean, I'll swatch a couple of these here. For an e.l.f. palette, I mean, they are so creamy. They're pigmented. They kind of have a metallic sheen to them. And I mean, I'm just really, really enjoying them. I'm not sure if you can see those very well. What I'm going to do is what I've been doing in most of my videos here lately. At the end of the video, I'm going to go ahead and insert pictures of uh, these swatched so you can kind of see them um, swatched on a darker one so you can kind of see them swatch also on this is one of my favorites on a picture and not just my fingers another one I'm not sure you can't really tell this is not doing them justice but they are absolutely stunning colors and they are just for the price of an elf compact I mean they are just great shimmery shimmery gorgeous kind of metallic -y colors and I am thoroughly enjoying that palette and this is just, I guess, one of the drugstore palettes I've been reaching for a lot. Um, I've just been doing kind of some mixtures and using a lot of these different ones on the lid. And I'm just really, really enjoying it. So I thought I'd just do a little video with some stuff I've been enjoying. This is my all-time favorite that I got, I don't know, about two months ago, I guess. And oh my gosh, guys. Like, if you don't have this, I know you probably, even if you don't have a neutral palette, this would be a great, uh, this would be a great one to get. It does have a mirror as well. I'm going to try to fold that back. This would be an excellent, excellent neutral palette to get if you do not have one. I don't know if I said that correctly. Um, if you do have lots, this would be a great one to add to your collection. And um, this is the, I don't think I really said, this is the Makeup Forever Nine Artist Shadow palette. And I can't remember the name. I want to say it's like neutral or natural or something like that. I'll put the name kind of somewhere in here. Um, because I think it does have um, a specific name. It's the number one. There's two palettes. There's one that has more vibrant and bright colors and there's this one. And I mean, this one is just fantastic. This is the first time I've ever tried any of their shadows and now I want to make little individual, um, like trio or whatever you call the little, where you can get like three of them and you save some money at them Sephora or you can get two of them or one of them, but they're huge and you can use them for um, not only, you can use them as a highlight, you can use them anywhere on your face, not just eyeshadows, but this, if you can tell, and I will again take pictures, is just absolutely beautiful. This is my absolute favorite one here in the middle. These are so pigmented and buttery. I mean, do you just see if you can even tell? That is just, it's amazing. I mean, I don't, and then this one's kind of a purpley, taupey color. Uh, it's just, these, these colors are gorgeous. And then this one here, is just absolutely gorgeous. You could use this one here as a highlight very easily. And these are just, I don't know if I have any more room to. It's kind of chilly outside too, so it's kind of very fall-like. Okay. <laughs> That's not working! Okay, so they're here. <laughs> Can't really see them. Because I have my three-quarter three sleeve shirt on and then now these. But I will insert pictures, like I've said 5,000 times already. But this is just an absolute stunning, stunning palette. You wouldn't need any other palette. Um, uh, maybe actually, no, there is a matte in here, but it's not the one I prefer to use. So I am still using a matte shade from a different palette. But, I mean, you even could use this wonderful black here as a liner. That's what I've used a lot as a liner. And it's got some kind of 
purpley hinted taupey colors and kind of golds and bronzes and there's some shimmers and some sparkles and there are some that are just kind of satin but this is an absolutely amazing palette I have completely fallen in love with makeup forever shadows I had never tried them before like I said and they're just absolutely amazing it's a wonderful little kind of cardboard thin little palette so it's great for traveling um, and then if you wanted to throw another one you know like your naked basics or something for kind of some matte shades you could do that as well so just just an idea and um, just on a side note, today I'm wearing, again, um, the Born This Way by Too Faced. And I need to do a tutorial on that. I'm just trying to figure out right now before I do another tutorial. The last one, you just couldn't really get a good, like, it couldn't, I couldn't get, like, up close enough or, like, the lighting. So I'm still kind of messing with that because I want to do a Get Ready With Me featuring that foundation so I can do a review on that finally because I'm thoroughly enjoying it. And I want to get into a more detailed review for you guys. And then also, um, if you can see the look I'm doing today, it's kind of a fall look. I used the um, 35, 35T, 35 Taupe from Morphe, and I also want to do a look for you guys with that as well once I get all this lighting and stuff figured out. But anyways, I will insert some swatches here, and um, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And um, yeah, so here come the swatches. Get ready for them. <laughs> Just kidding. I'll talk to you later, guys. Bye.